Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to How To Become An Animator. I'm Sir Wade and I hope you enjoyed today's little skit short film thing. I've been calling it Orbital Strike. I got back from vacation in the middle of last week and I had about four days to make something for today's video. So this whole short was done in four days. But anyways, I hope you like it and I wanted to kind of dive in and tell you how it was done, what went into it, because this one had a really fun workflow and I wanted to share it with you. This is also a good time to mention that today's video is sponsored by NVIDIA, which is super cool because they sent me the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. So we'll talk about graphics cards later in the video and I have a few comparisons to show you even of what I normally work with and the speed difference when working with a graphics card like this. So we'll get to that. Now, I made this whole skit up based on an asset I was creating. I was making a satellite in Maya and I was modeling the whole thing and I'd just done regular polygon modeling, extruding stuff, and I had created this satellite. Now, I'm not a modeler and I'm not a texture artist, but I dabble a little bit to just kind of try to be better and improve. So I was making this satellite and then I thought, well, I want to texture it, make it look really real. So I went out and got the subscription to Substance Painter and started bringing everything over and it took me a while to kind of figure out the workflow for UVs and I, I hate UV mapping and UDIMs and all that stuff. And anyway, it was fun working in Substance. It was really fast, really intuitive. It's like Photoshop in a way. So this is what the satellite looked like when I was kind of giving up on Substance Painter. But there came a point where I just realized I'm spending way too much time trying to figure out Maya to Substance. I need to move faster. So I switched over to After Effects and made version two of the space station. Now this is version two of the space station and this I think is way, way cooler and way better for so many reasons. But this is pretty much the first thing I did. I knew that for whatever short I was gonna make and I was kind of having ideas of what I might want it to be, I knew it was gonna revolve around this spacecraft thing. So before I really did anything or any planning, I just knew I wanted something floating in space that could blast the ground. I could call in an orbital strike. That's all I knew at this point. So I loaded up Element 3D, which is a plugin for After Effects from Video Copilot, and it's a fantastic plugin. It's super fast. It basically gives the ability to bring 3D stuff into After Effects. Now, one thing I really love about Element 3D is it's fast. And part of the reason that it is so fast and you're able to work with 3D stuff in After Effects really quickly and render it very quickly as well is because of something called GPU acceleration. Now, this is a very narrow explanation of it, but the way I think about it is the better your graphics card, the faster you're going to be able to do visual stuff on your screen, whether that's moving around in a 3D space, if you're modeling, if you're doing rendering with a GPU renderer, like Arnold and Maya now has a GPU option with those RTX cards from NVIDIA. Cinema 4D, Blender, all those tools in 3D have options for GPU rendering, which is super fast. But even if you're just in the viewport or you're modeling, or if you're not even in 3D at all, if you're encoding videos, if you're doing After Effects work, if you're doing color grading, all that kind of stuff, all those visual tasks, the graphic card will make everything much, much faster. Now that doesn't sound super exciting when I describe it. So let me just show you how I made the space station and the speed difference when I'm using a really powerful graphics card and when I'm not. So in the last couple of years, all of my After Effects work has been done on this laptop. This is my MacBook Pro, it's the i9 model. I talked about it in my computer video. So I'm used to doing a lot of my Element 3D work on this laptop. So 
what I did is I built this entire satellite space station thing and I put it on my desktop and I put it on my laptop. And I know it's not a totally fair comparison to put my desktop against my laptop. So let's take a look. So here's that space station in After Effects in Element 3D on the MacBook Pro. And you can see that, you know, speed wise, it's okay. There's a little bit of a frame rate lag. And if I start upping the complexity, I start adding reflections, it gets a lot slower. If I start adding more geometry, this thing really starts to chug. And there comes a point where I can't do anything. I literally can't even move around. It's just way too slow. There's no way I'd be able to work with like this. And if I were forced to work on this laptop like I have been in the past, you have to make all of your decisions based on a single frame. You basically leave it as it is. You don't move it because it's too slow to really change it. And you say, okay, well, I'm gonna make my decisions and changes and you basically just type in values for stuff and hope it looks good because you don't have time to render it because it would take forever. So now switching over to my regular computer where I have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti installed. That's a mouthful. But I have the new graphics card installed on this computer and you can see right off the bat just how fast this is to work in. It's way more responsive, so let's make it really difficult. I turn on really high risk textures, I'll turn on the environment, reflections, it's doing all kinds of different ray tracing things. And then I'm gonna start upping the geometry. I'm going to double this, quadruple it, and I'm gonna duplicate this entire thing and start moving around. I still have the ability to do whatever I need, but the majority of this work is being done on the GPU. And because of the speed, I was able to create this entire space station thing in about five hours. From start to finish, it only took that long to build out this whole thing and put the textures on. So again, that's going back to the interactivity, the fact that I can just move around quickly, make changes, I can undo, redo, I can, I, I can do whatever I need to do quickly and iterate and get the thing done. It also makes a huge difference with color grading and rendering and all the different things I do in After Effects and Premiere and so on. But I'm gonna put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. So if you want to check out the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti and other RTX cards, I highly recommend them because that's what I've been using before I was working with NVIDIA and that's what I'm working with the newer version now that I am working with them. Either way, the new RTX cards have been fantastic to me. And if you're looking for more power to do stuff faster, I would click the link and just check out what they have to offer. And if you do pick up an RTX card, don't forget to check out the different kinds of drivers that NVIDIA offers because just like they've had game ready drivers or VR ready drivers that are you know, set up to help you play games faster, they also have studio ready drivers. So depending on the software, the tools and your needs, they've optimized these cards to run things even faster than they normally would in a standard configuration. So they're hooking it up, check the link in the description if you wanna learn more. Now back to the space station. Once I had it built and I was confident that, okay, yep, this asset works, I'm pretty much ready to go, I have what I need. I knew I wanted to have it call down this beam of sun energy and just like decimate something. And I thought, okay, what would you destroy? Like if you had that kind of power, what would you just end? Spiders and cockroaches, probably. I did an entire storyboard just on my iPad really quick, just drew a couple thumbnail sketches, which became my shot list for the whole thing. I actually ended up just filming most of it in the pantry because I thought it was a fun shot. And then we drove out to the desert super early in the morning to get the rest of the shots. And since I didn't actually have a cockroach in my apartment, thank goodness, I went and found a cockroach piece of stock footage and I could just pop in there on top of my footage and not do a ton of extra work. The hardest part for sure was trying to create the entire globe spaceship interaction CG sequence. So the earth part is just a tutorial from Video Copilot. I needed to make the planet very quickly and I just followed the tutorial because that's the fastest way to do it. As for the part where the spaceship gets called and extends its laser cannon and then fires, I used a couple movies for reference and inspiration of how I wanted that scene to play out. So with the combination of the live action footage, the visual effects on top of that stuff, the little roach added in there, the CG shots from the whole Element 3D space cannon that I created, all those things went into Premiere, or added sound effects, did some sound design, music, and put it all together with some color grading. But this entire project was a really big mix of, at first I was using Maya and Substance Painter, and then I bailed on both of those programs, which I knew Cinema 4D because it would have been easier to do a lot of stuff in Cinema 4D, but I don't know it well enough to do this project in it yet. So then I went to where I know stuff really well, After Effects, Element 3D, blazed through everything because of that. Went out, shot live action footage, came back, mixed it all together, didn't sleep at all, and got this out for you to enjoy. But I hope this video was interesting for you. I hope you learned something from it or just, I don't know, got a kick out of it. If you made it this far, let me know in the comments what you thought of this whole thing and any ideas for future shorts or anything you want me to make as these little skits 
for other future videos. I'm happy to try out some new stuff, whether it's new tools, new software, new ideas, whatever. And all of the ideas will eventually be put to a vote over on Patreon. So if you want to go vote for new stuff or be part of live streams where I do the fan stuff live, the link is down below for Patreon as well as the NVIDIA links I mentioned earlier. And a big thank you to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video and sending me the new graphics card that is fantastic. Again, you guys, you should absolutely check out the RTX cards. I'm super happy with it and I would not have been able to do this project as quickly as I did without that GPU power. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you've got any other future ideas and I will see you in the next video. And if you see any cockroaches, you know what to do.